Do you know the tidal force wrought upon Earth by the moon has nothing to do with the phase of the moon? It doesn't. It's the same all the time. We know the tide shifts. Like, is it gravity alone that's causing okay, that tide so to shift? The tide it? actually doesn't shift. It doesn't? No. What happens? No, okay. So wherever the moon is in space, the side of Earth closest to the moon is more attracted to the moon than the side that's farthest away. So because the total force is different across Earth, Earth gets stretched a little, elongated. It's especially visible in the oceans relative to the land. Land, but Earth's physical body is also stretched in a direction towards the moon, except it's a little ahead of it, but we don't have to worry about that for the moment. So the moon stretches the tide. That's called the tidal force on the Earth. As Earth rotates, we rotate once a day. How long does it take the moon to go around the Earth? Once a month. So here's this tidal bulge. Earth rotates inside the bulge. And what you say at the beach, oh, the tide is coming in and out. No, it is you rotating into and out of a tidal bulge that's fixed in space towards the moon. That's why there are two high tides in a day.